I'm Zach from Liberty Way Realty in Lake Orion, Michigan, your local area expert. And here I am today to talk to you about closing costs. So one of the things that we can often overlook when thinking about and pre-planning for buying a house is closing costs. These are costs that are in addition to your down payment. Um, there are things like taxes, inspection, appraisal, so on and so forth, that can cost a significant amount of money that you need to be aware of ahead of time. Now, if you are in a um, VA or down payment assistance program such as MISHDA or maybe some low income buyer program, there may be assistance out there to help with these closing costs to make a home more affordable. But for the most part, here are the elements of what you're gonna be looking at in closing costs. So one of the things that you're gonna to have to do is fill an escrow account. If you have a traditional mortgage, um, your mortgage will most likely be paying your taxes and your homeowner's insurance. In order to do this, they're gonna require you to fill an escrow account before the payment is due because the bank's not your friend. They're not gonna prepay for you, okay? So what they need you to do <coughs> is at closing to pay one year's homeowner's insurance up front and to pay one year's of prorated taxes. So these taxes will be based on the um, time of year you're buying and how much taxes have already been paid by the seller. Um, so, and then those will be split by the time you live there, the time they live there, so on and so forth. So, but they're gonna require you to fill the escrow account with one year's homeowner's insurance and one year of prorated taxes. Also, you're gonna find a fee in there for title work. Title work fees are, dep are vary depending on the size of the house, the square footage, um, and a month, whole lot of other things. But um, if you're a cash buyer, title work tends to be a lot cheaper. If you are a mortgage, a traditional mortgage buyer, it's gonna be a little more expensive. Um, title work with closing fees included, these are closing fees, your paperwork, everything included, generally sits between about 15 and 1800. Um, so 1,500 to 1,800, that can vary wildly. Um, I just had a close, cash, cash sale close and they only had $700 in closing costs. So it all depends on um, on who you're using and what kind of product you have there. Um, also, you'll have some fees from the lender. Um, the lender is going to charge you an underwriting fee. Normally, I see that sit in the range of $1,000 to $1,200, um, but that can vary depending on the lender and what their cost is for underwriting. Um, some lenders are going to charge origination fees. Um, that's a fee paid upfront in order to originate the mortgage. Not all lenders charge this. I've seen, I've seen origination fees range anywhere from $1,000 to $5,000 or even more. Um, keep in mind, not all lenders charge that. So shop around, find one that, that's not gonna take you for a ride, okay? Also included in your closing costs can be, and this is an optional part, um, interest points. And what that means is sometimes a, a buyer can buy points off their, in, off their mortgage um, interest rate, which means that they are essentially prepaying interest in exchange for a lower interest rate. So if you're going to do that, if you're gonna buy points, you would do that up front. that would be done at closing. Um, in addition to that, you would have the inspection. Um, I've seen the inspection cost 250, I've seen the inspection cost 800. It depends on the company you get and the type of inspection you do and the square footage of the house. Um, this is generally paid at the time of the inspection. So that period of time, five to seven days, just after you get an offer accepted, you bring an inspector in, have them look at the house, determine the condition. You need to pay them at the time of the inspection. So that's not gonna be in your closing cost per se, but it's something that you need to account for. Also, one of the things you're gonna pay for is the appraisal. Um, if, you, uh, uh, if you're using a traditional mortgage, the house has to be paid, has to be appraised. And the appraisal generally costs, I've seen them cost around 500 to all the way up to $800. Um, the appraisal ha generally has to be paid at the time of the appraisal. So what happens is we get through the inspection, um, we tell the mortgage company to order the appraisal, the mortgage company then comes back to you and says, here's a link to pay for that appraisal. Um, you pay for it at the time. Sometimes I've seen it lumped into the closing costs, 
Sometimes it's not. Most of the time it's not. So keep that in mind and that additional five to $800 for your appraisal costs. And as we talked about before, you'll also see your down payment included there. Um, and also you will have a fee from the brokerage. Um, if you are working with Liberty Way Realty, one of the reasons I love them is um, they have what the lowest uh, uh, brokerage fees I've seen um, in any transaction. Uh, for the buyer, they charge a $250 transaction fee. Uh, that essentially accounts for paperwork and office work done back here by, um, by those other than your uh, agent. Um, the lowest transaction fee I've seen is $295. But I would say on average, I see them sit around $500. I've seen them all the way up to $900. So that's one of the reasons I love Liberty Way Realty. Their transaction fees are the lowest out there. Um, and also, if you're selling, uh, Liberty Way does not charge a transaction fee to sellers. So that's fantastic. Extra money in your pocket. That's always a good thing, right? So essentially figure if you're working with Liberty, Liberty Way Realty, you're just about getting your uh, inspection paid for just because we're not charging you an arm and a leg for your uh, um, uh, um, transaction fees. Whew. Long day. So there may be some additional costs out there that um, I can't go through in a video, things that uh, your mortgage company may throw in there that I'm not aware of. Um, but as a general rule, that's for the most part what you're looking at in closing costs. So keep that in mind, add it to your down payments, and, and that's what you need to bring to the table. If you've got any more questions about closing costs, feel free to give me a call. Um, I'm Zach at Liberty Way Realty. My phone number is at the beginning and the end of this video, and it's in the description. So reach out. I'd love to work with you. Love to help you find your dream home. Love to list your dream home. Sure, whatever works best for you. Have a great week. Good luck in your search. Ready for home.